If you're into watches, you might have heard of some watches having enamel dials. Perhaps you've seen one for yourself or even own one. But do you know what exactly an enamel dial is and how it's made? Till recently, I didn't, which is why I want to answer some of these questions through this video. So let's start with what exactly an enamel dial is and how it's made. So enameling is a process by which powdered glass is fused to a metal substrate at high heat. When heated to a temperature between 750 to 850 degrees Celsius, the glass melts and fuses to the metal which creates enamel. This enamel can then be applied to glass, ceramics and metals. Enamel has a smooth glossy finish that is highly durable and resistant to fading. In the case of an enamel dial watch, the powdered glass is applied to a metal disc which is then fired in a kiln at high temperatures. The resulting enamel surface can be colored in a wide range of hues and patterns and is often embellished with hand-painted details or decorative elements such as numerals, markers and subdials. Enamel watch dials are also highly resistant to scratches and other forms of damage making them even more desirable. As you can imagine, this is a really complicated and expensive process requiring expert craftsmen which in turn translates to high prices for the consumers. This is why enamel dials are often used in high-end watches and luxury timepieces, where they add a touch of elegance and sophistication. Some famous enamel dial watches include watches from Patek Philippe with the 5231G and the 5116G Calatrava, and some from Vacheron Constantin like these. But not all enamel dial watches cost as much as a house. To show you just how cool an enamel dial watch can be at a more attainable range, here I have the Seiko Presage Saad 007. I think this is a really cool watch with a really cool name. As you can see, this watch has this white enamel dial with crisp black Arabic numerals and text. This watch features three useful complications in the form of a power reserve indicator, a day of the week indicator and a retrograde date indicator. I think having all three complications in addition to this enamel dial for under a thousand dollars is a great deal. But unfortunately this watch was a limited edition and now you would have to dip into the secondary market to buy one. As you can see, this dial has a pretty unique look. The texture looks really distinct and it almost looks like a smooth layer of paint has been applied on top of the dial. I really admire Seiko for creating these enamel dial watches. Now you may say that this is just a simple white dial without much detail. And you'll be right. But on the other hand, a simple white dial means that any imperfections will stand out clearly and the margin for error in production is minimal. It's therefore an achievement on Seiko's part to actually make these watches that cost just a few hundred dollars upon their release a few years ago. What I'd like to know is, do you own an enamel dial watch? And what do you think of these enamel dial watches? Are they worth the extra money or just a fancy gimmick? Let me know down in the comments. Finally, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate the support I've gotten from you guys so far. I'm just a one-man team and it does take a lot of time, effort and research to make these videos. And I'm happy to do it for you guys. But the best way to let me know that you like this content and want to see more of it is by hitting the subscribe button. Thank you for that. But if you're not ready for that kind of commitment yet, feel free to just hit the like button instead. See you all in the next video very soon. Peace.